Hello guys, uh, what's up? Thank you so much for stopping by to my YouTube channel. In case you're new here, my name is Divan Sogueno and this is Divan's Empire. So in today's video, I just want us to speak about life as I also shave. I normally use this uh, shaving cream. I'm trying to focus it. Yes, this is what I used to shave. It's actually harmful. It's a chemical. I actually smear and then after five minutes I wipe off the unwanted hair. So I will do this as I speak to you. It's not makeup. <laughs> yes. Now, um, I'm shooting this video uh, very early in the morning. It's around uh, 10 a.m. in the morning. And I've just thought about something about life, the friends we have. How many of us can stand to testify and say that the friends they have are the correct people they asked God for in their life? The friends you have, can you ever count on them in your times of need? Because in this life, it's only complete when we have one another. When uh, you're in need, sometimes you're in a fix, you cannot fix yourself, you'll need people to fix you, and not just anybody, you'll actually need friends, people who know you more better, or people who have a good idea of you, who you are, uh, to help you fix the problem. Then, that is when I ask my question, can your friends actually uh, support you or be there for you in your times of need? Uh, the reason for this uh, topic today is because I have mostly uh, had very many friends and in most cases uh, my friends have actually let me down in my time of need most of them come to me when they are in need, when they need help, be it financial help, food, sometimes clothing, sometimes advice. But at the end of the day, when I am broken and I need to be fixed by someone, I just need someone to share my problem with, to share my heart with, I try to look for the friends or the people who I call my friends and they are nowhere to be seen. I end up uh, feeling depressed, feeling so much stressed, I have no one to, to turn to. It really hurts. Uh, a recent scenario, uh, I had a friend of mine who is so much into IT things and uh, since I'm also into IT, when I talk about IT I mean things to do with uh, cameras, technology, and information and technology. Since I am a YouTuber, I love shooting videos and editing. I had this stand of mine, a uh, camera stand. We call it a tripod, this one. So this one is a stand, as you see it. It's a tripod stand, th tripod, three-legged stand. I gave it to a friend of mine and uh, to, he wanted to go and use it. And after a while, he returned it after very many days later when it was spoiled you see it is spoiled i'm going to show you how a new one looks like so that is how a new one looks like but then when you compare it with mine this one is spoiled it cannot work anymore this one is a waste so what when he destroyed it he told me he was shooting and then all of a sudden uh somebody close to him actually hit his camera and the camera fell down together with the tripod stand and the tripod uh, tripod got spoiled so he told me he's, he will pay he will pay it uh, or he will compensate by buying me a new one and I said okay no problem since we are friends uh, at your own will uh, once you get money uh, you will actually compensate it as you're speaking today it is about very many months about around seven eight months since my camera stand was destroyed by this friend of mine and he has never 
bother to help uh, prepare it or make it i know he will watch this video so he will see me narrating it here and uh to make matters worse when i asked him to help me buy a new one he actually blocked my number now today as i speak his phone is not going through like he blocked me if i call him he won't pick and um reason being i don't know i don't know so the guy owes me my stand he is not picking my calls despite me trying to reach him peacefully so he was a good friend of mine before but because of this stand issue today he's a different person he doesn't pick my calls he doesn't uh, want to hear anything to do with me anymore those are the friends I have but uh, I'm glad today I just decided to let it go and let it let him do whatever he wants God will uh, judge us out sometimes we ask ourselves do we really have uh, people we can rely on in our times of need because life can get you to a point where even if you are the strongest person on earth at one given point you will need help from other people yes because we are human beings today you are strong tomorrow you are weak you need to get, get somebody to actually uh, bring you back on track but sometimes we do things thinking that our friends will support us but where are they try asking yourself questions like you have a business where you are selling shoes but and you have so many uh, friends at the end of the day you see your friends changing shoes every day and the shoes they are actually having they've bought them somewhere else they are the same type of shoes that you are actually selling at even a cheaper and lower price then you ask yourself questions like why is it that the uh, my friends are calling themselves my friends yet they cannot promote my business they they go buy the same things that i am selling from somebody else at expensively and then tomorrow when they are stuck when they need help they come back to me surely is it really good you find that sometimes you post a video as a youtuber like for example i am a youtuber i make videos and once i've made videos i share them with people and i also expect that my friends close friends close allies will help me share my videos with other people at the end of the day uh, nobody shares my videos none of my friends shares my videos instead i see the same friends people who i call my friends sharing videos of other celebrities who have already made it for example i post a video in my uh, facebook uh, page none of my friends will like the videos but as i continue scrolling i come across a famous celebrity i meet my friends have liked their videos they've even commented they've even shared their videos then i'm like whoa what's up what's wrong is there a problem at the end of the day when they're stuck it's me who they'll come to look for when they want help now why is it always that way hmm? you are an artist you, you you've just recorded a new song or a new video you share it online expecting some of your friends will share it uh, with their friends too they will help you promote it at the end of the day they do not promote your song but instead they promote somebody else who doesn't even know them why is the world this kind of cruel we meet people who do not want to help us grow hmm? friends of nowadays they know very well you have a particular business and they do not want to buy from your own shop instead they want to go and buy from somebody else's shop who they don't even know somebody who cannot help them in their time of need but when they're stuck they all come running looking for you friends hmm? are they friends or how should we call them how do we categorize them huh? it's very sad to see the people who we put close thinking they can help us or they will help us are the same people who are running away from us when their life is smooth but when they are in need they come running seeking for help why huh? give me a minute let me clear up my face so this is how i normally clean so i just use a, a, a wet uh, kitamba and just wipe off i wipe off you see if you can see those are the unwanted hair they come out they come off as i wipe them this way mm. so guys sometimes that is how life is 
the friends we have are they really f- genuine uh sometimes i ask myself why do i even need to have friends because at the end of the day the friends we have are not friends but they are people who come to us when they are in need the moment they get whatever they're looking for they disappear mm, it looks swollen uh, most of them use friendship as an umbrella to source for help from other people which is not good recently i was buying a computer when I, the computer i was having was actually giving me lots and lots of problems so i decided uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, save money and just buy a new computer and uh, since i am this guy who has always tried to be independent and to survive on my own for those of you who know my story uh, i tried to ask help from people because i could not manage to raise the whole amount on my own so i decided to ask a few friends of mine and family members to actually support me that was in the month of march before corona uh, started before corona actually hit my country kenya in the man- month of may of march so i spoke to a few people a few friends of mine who promised to help me they promised me to raise some money to actually get myself a new computer so in the process corona came in to the country and uh, after a few days we were placed on a compulsory lockdown especially for those of us who are in Nairobi, Mombasa and other two more counties that were actually closed because of corona so things became difficult uh, most of the friends i was relying on to actually help me con- uh, raise money to buy my computer actually didn't uh, turn up everyone was giving excuses of how corona has affected them and what have you and what have you and all sorts of excuses but you know i decided in my heart that i will not hate anyone because they have not helped me because tomorrow we still need each other maybe at this stage is where you could have not have managed to help me because of your reasons that you actually gave me but i believed that maybe tomorrow i might be stuck and i i might need more serious help and that is why you might decide to come in so one thing i've learned in life is that do not hate anybody because they have not helped you it is not your right to be helped by them actually it is out of goodwill that they have decided to actually help you so it is not a guarantee it's not a must so even if they help you be thankful just appreciate thank them so much if they decide not to help you just move on but do not kill the friendship that is there between you two because they couldn't afford to help you at that particular moment just accept that things happen people can get disappointed this is life but tomorrow maybe the following day when you might need help maybe it could be a funeral they might come in to help you uh, and sometimes people deny to help you for uh, for particular reasons such as um, they want you to work more harder maybe they feel you have some potential in you you can if you are given chance to work more harder you can manage to actually uh, see your dreams come true and uh I'm grateful for everybody who is around my life. Those of you who I have saved in my phone, uh those of you who keep on checking on me day in day out, I usually appreciate all people I call my friends. And um I am this kind of a guy who's an more of an introvert. Uh I like being alone and I'm more comfortable being alone than being in a public place. When I am alone, I can do very many things. I can be more creative. I can uh, you know, I you understand what being an introvert is. Somebody who doesn't like hanging around where many people are. So even the friends I have, that I have a small circle. I have very few friends, people who I can count on in times of need. If today I need somebody to help me, then they are there to to help me as a backup. Plan, you understand so I appreciate the few friends I have most of the friends I have are people who 
you know life just brought us together but some some of them actually most of them cannot help me when i'm in uh, i'm in need and i also cannot help them when they're in need because we are not so close um recently uh, i was uh, in facebook and uh, somebody sent me a friend request and uh, going to check who it was it was an old time friend somebody i knew in the year 2014 when i was actually joining campus and um we used to be very good friends by then but i don't know what happened until uh, we were no longer friends until here he was sending me and a friend request and then after accepting his friend request it didn't even take five minutes and he was like bro Naomba unisaidie mahali and then I'm like okay uh what is it that you want me to help you with and he was like uh, I'm looking for 5000 Kenyan shillings and I have managed to raise 2000 bob I needed to actually uh loan me the remaining 3000 and in, at the end of the week I'm going to send it back to you and I was like I'm sorry bro this was too abrupt uh you know we have not been in communication i don't know where you are i don't know what has been happening around your life at least you could have checked on me and to ask me how life is taking me what has happened new developments before starting to think of asking me for money i saw his response and he sounded like i have offended him he was more offended by my statement you know i prefer telling people the truth so i just told him the truth why would he look for me when he needs help but when his life is good when his life is smooth he doesn't think about me you understand a good example of people who are good uh, there was a time uh, i didn't have a job i didn't even have money to to pay for my house bill and i had a few friends of mine who i trusted people who i looked upon people who i loved so one day i went and shared uh, with one of the great musicians in this country one person who i envy one person who has helped very many people i went to him and told him you know i'm struggling to raise money to even pay rent for myself uh if you can help me with something little i will refund later so i can pay my house bill so it, my door cannot be closed you know this person uh, looked at me and saw a lot of potential in me instead of giving me money he told me you know you you are a smart boy you uh, you 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 have the brains what i'm going to do i'm going to give you a computer use this computer to actually look for money that you want and uh, actually it was a point it was a strong point because at the end of the day i took the computer with the proud heart i didn't know what to do with the computer by then that will bring money so what i did i took the computer took it to my house and uh, immediately an idea came i decided to do editing of videos but then i didn't have the knowledge i've not gone to school i've not trained for it so what was i supposed to do i installed a wifi at my place and uh, once i had the wifi i started seeking knowledge from the internet every time i would spend lots and lots of hours in the internet trying to learn and learn new ways on how i can edit videos today as we speak the computer that i was given has made me who i am today that computer has bought many things through that computer i have managed to pay my bills i've managed to move on to to, to you know life has been what it is because that person gave me a computer and uh, from that story of being given a computer i just learned that life people who show you how to fish are the most genuine people live alone those who give you fish you go to somebody that you are in need and then they uh, they give you money that is actually somebody not helping you yes they could be helping you but it's not a la- long term help this computer that this person gave me has actually given me much knowledge things that if i never had that computer i would have spent a lot of money looking for um, knowledge and skills but because of that computer that that person gave me today i'm proud to say that i am grateful that you gave me a computer that i have been using to make ends meet so that is what we call friendship he saw some potential in me great potential in me that if i put in good use today i'll be a better person what about if he gave me the 15000 i was looking for at that particular moment i'm sure after another 2 months i would be back at his door begging for more money 
and if he fails to give me the money I will go away sad and cursing him for not helping me yet I, I feel like he has the money you understand so anytime we are looking for friends just try to check very many things do not have many friends around you who are not contributing anything positive towards the growth of your life look for friends who support your dreams look for friends who help you stand up when you fall down look for friends who can be there for you when you are in need don't just have friends who are only there for you when your life is moving on well friends that who will call you to ask you bro niaje kuna pati ngine pale mta si twende tu enjoy just keep away from such kind of friends friends who cannot help you who cannot give you good advices who cannot show you the correct path just leave them alone look for friends who can help you grow and you can also help them grow they are the people who will be there with you even in your darkest moment in life Remember to make good choices when it comes to choosing friends. Remember to be uh, a good person. Remember to be a good friend. And until next time, this is Divan's Empire. End of discussion.